Hi everybody, this is Mike Marston. Um, I, I normally like to make a video when I'm getting a few questions um, asked so we can try and cover everybody. Um, people are asking about backup and restore. Now, I'm in a graphic at the moment just talking to an FG and as you can see under utilities you can do a backup. So if I was to back up this project, we've added a new feature now where you can back up the history database. So that's quite important. And that will just drop that in the web folder um, of the backup. Now, some people have said, well, then I've got to go into FileZilla and find the backup. Well, let's just do that. So I go into FileZilla, go into the SD card, um, go into web. When you make your first backup, it will create a folder called CPT backups. And then inside there, you're going to have all kinds of different names. And that's fine, you can still keep doing it that way. So you could FTP that back to your PC um, or you can, and keep it on the SD card or both. Now, some people have been saying, well, that's all very well. And we like the idea that if the controller gets damaged for some reason or fails, we can just take a new one and put the SD card in. And some people are saying, well, you know, what about old kits? And, you know, some of that is valid, but you could also back up all the kits on the um, on the SD card. Now, some have also said, you know, with new versions of CPT coming out, we have to keep adding new kits. And there's not really a lot we can do about that. Um, even though you're using a new CPT, the only kit at the moment that you would need to change, and that would be to get the graphics right, would be the actual CPT service kit. So going forward, we're gonna make sure that doesn't happen. But anyway, let me just show you these new features in the actual CPT. So I'm using a um, December version, it's available. <clears throat> Some people have asked about the expiry date, um, which is currently 2015. Later this year in 2015, that's going to be removed and there'll be no time limit. And the reason for that was everybody just wanted to make sure all the features were there. So I'm in CPT, you see this icon here, you've got a little icon called Tools, uh, Backup Management. If you go to Tools here, you can also see, you can access it from there, there's a number of new features. Um, so what I will do is I'll just do it from the toolkit here, it's actually the Backup Management here. So I just click on this little toolkit, and it asks me to log into the FTP, just say yes. And then you'll see what it does, is it comes up with Remote and Local. So remote is your SD card, and as you see, I've got lots of projects on here. Um, and I've also got my local, which is my SD, sorry, which is my PC. So it's really quite nice. So if I wanted to actually just download something, I just hit the download. And if I wanted to restore the controller to say be this VAV, hit restore, it'll just say, do you want to restore it with, with that particular um, folder and just say yes. And it does exactly the same thing. So the nice thing about this is you don't need to use FileZilla anymore. The FTP client is actually built in now into CPT. Um, when you first set it up, you've just got to set up a folder where you're going to keep all your backups. Uh, if I show you my file, file Windows Explorer, you will see I have a folder here called CPT Backups and I have many in there. And I just reference it to that one. So hope you like that feature. There's more coming. It's getting better and better all the time. Um, make sure you vote for us at the Control Trends. So I think today or tomorrow is the last day for the voting. And for all my friends and uh, EasyIO friends, we'll see you all in Chicago.